Over the past few decades, wildfires in the western portion of the United States have become increasingly destructive. Of the top 15 most destructive wildfires in California, only one happened before the year 2000. And of the other 14, 10 have occurred over the past 10 years. Why is this happening and what, if anything, can we do to stop it? Are you a thought monkey? If so, hit the like and subscribe button for more videos that make the seemingly complex simple. When we think of wildfires, we often think of their destructive and deadly nature. But wildfires are incredibly important for the health of our forests. When naturally occurring, fires help clear forest floors so new plants can grow, replenish soil with much needed nutrients, and remove harmful insects and diseased plants. For thousands of years, Native Americans understood the value of fire and used it strategically to help encourage plants to grow and to attract game to graze in certain areas. Yet contrary to popular belief, Native American fire manipulation, along with naturally occurring wildfires, resulted in many more millions of acres to burn each year compared to what we have seen in the modern age. For example, from 1500 to 1800, scientists estimate that between 18 and 25 million acres burned in the West each year, versus an average of 6.5 million acres burned each year over the past 10 years. As a result, the forests of the western United States historically looked much more patchy with dispersed vegetation spanning the landscape compared to that of modern overgrown and dense forests. It wasn't until the 1800s when the naturally patchy landscape began to change. As Europeans migrated toward the West, they brought with them their customs and culture, which influenced the ecosystems where they settled. The livestock they brought with them would eat grasses that had historically been helpful in spreading fires. Later, the roads and railroads would continue the trend of disrupting naturally occurring fires. Meanwhile, people were beginning to build homes and create towns in fire-prone areas that would eventually spark the practice of putting out wildfires in order to protect human life and property. Now that we know wildfires are natural and important for the western United States' ecosystem and how western settlers in the 1800s began to disrupt this occurrence, the question becomes why have these fires gotten particularly more destructive over the past few decades? There are three key reasons, human settlement, policy, and climate change. The first reason is human settlement. Since the 1800s and continuing into the 21st century, new communities have been developed in high-risk fire zones across the western United States. In California alone, over 10,000 new homes have been built in these areas since 2010. This is likely because housing in urban centers is becoming more expensive, forcing families to live further and further away from cities. Yet, as housing grows in high-risk fire areas and fires get bigger and stronger every year, these communities are becoming more and more at risk. As a result, you see many of them destroyed each year. Places like Paradise, California, Phoenix, Oregon, Santa Rosa, California, and the list goes on. Additionally, with more people living in fire-prone areas, the more chances for human-created fires exist. We see this every year. Fires started from a human flicking a cigarette out of their car window to power lines that ignite due to windy conditions or malfunctioning hardware. The second reason is policy. In 1910, an enormous fire erupted in the West called the Big Burn, which inspired the U.S. government to create a National Forest Service with a mandate to put out all wildfires in order to protect human life and property. Since then, the service has become very successful. However, the unintended consequences of putting out almost every wildfire over the past 100 years has meant more vegetation growth and overgrown forests, creating huge stockpiles of fuel for fires to burn. The last reason is climate change. Fire needs three things to burn, what scientists call the fire triangle. A heat source like the sun, lightning, power lines, or a match, fuel like dry grasses, leaves, and trees, or oxygen like wind. When you combine these three things, you get fire. Climate change has been causing the western United States to get hotter, drier, and windier each year, which makes the fire triangle, heat sources, fuels, and oxygen, all the more accessible. Hotter temperatures, a stockpile of fuel, and windier weather simply means bigger, more destructive fires.
Our current reality is bleak when you consider the fact that climate change may only get worse. People are continuing to build, move, and settle into high-risk fire-prone areas, and you have a forest management policy that hasn't caught up with science. Many experts have been thinking about this problem, and there seem to be quite a number of solutions. We could practice prescribed burning to intentionally reduce the amount of fuel available for wildfires. We could stop investing and incentivizing the development of homes and communities in these areas. We could also provide homeowners in high-risk zones with the resources needed to build fire-resistant homes. While scientists and wildfire experts are leading the way in researching problems and communicating solutions that address the destruction we've experienced over the past decade, there is still a lot of work to do in conjunction with these fires that are becoming increasingly destructive year after year. How do you think wildfires will impact our future? Share your response in the comment section below, and thanks for watching. Feel free to give this video a like if you found it helpful, and make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with my latest Thought Monkey videos.